thing with, uh, you know, you do have your random moves. You do have your hero on the roster now, which counts as very much RNG of Game & Watch's hammer. But the RNG I'm talking about is really where the where the internet has you um, in terms of if they like you or not this week. And that is the RNG I'm talking about. But here we go. Uh, second set of the evening. Got Cosmic B. Uh, we've seen Cosmic B quite a few times. I actually think we got... Cosmic B's one of his first um, tournament matches around the time we started doing online DNA. I'm glad to see him back. Um, and then we do have Nathaniel, who we know quite well, is, is a New Jersey resident, as, as I'm pretty aware of. But anyways, uh, playing Rob on Wi-Fi. Rob, Rob on Wi-Fi, good choice. Bowser on Wi-Fi, honestly, not a bad choice. There's, there's things you can do. And I always say this in a really good setup there. Have ledge covered with the gyro and then using uh, the Rob spinny thing to take the stock at rolling distance. All right, so Cosmic B really only a big hit as those Bowsers are known for for evening things up. And there is said big hit going to come out in the form of a forward tilt. And going to look for that first damage on stock number two and is going to get it. So we'll see what he can do here to maybe even turn around because uh, Bowser does have that comeback mechanic. And wow, look, looking like a big heavy uh, lizard cheek over here with the fair followed by the fair followed by the fair. Uh, that move is quick. Yeah, and I, I could see that. I could see how maybe Bowser versus Rob in a Wi-Fi Arena might not be great since Bowser does have a whole lot of hitbox to him and uh, Rob does have a whole lot of hitboxes he throws out. So I'm pretty sure Bowser gets caught up in a lot of those. But speaking of which, we're seeing that go on the opposite end. The up B is out of shield. Sound strategy. We'll see if Nathaniel is able to catch him with any of those Rob things. And too heavy to be taken out by that up smash. And we'll see if that gyro comes into play again. That's how he took the first stock. Has the right idea. Covering up high. And gonna go for some basic aerials and kinda not able to capitalize on that ill advised uh, Bowser up B. It doesn't work, and there we go. F tilt coming out for another stock. The MVP currently for Cosmic B. And really, all Nathaniel needs is, I guess, yeah, Bowser's a little too high percent to have fallen for any of those down throw combos, I suppose. I don't know the exact percentages on those combos, so don't don't beat me up for knowing them or not knowing them. But that back air is plenty strong, especially when you're sitting over 150. So finally going to take out that second stock. We'll see if Nathaniel will be able to get his lead back. And he's on a good track. I mean, really, for all intents and purposes, this is an even, even game. And nice falling up air is going to get some extra damage. And I do think that this is really a gyro setup uh, for Nathaniel. It, it would be the clutch thing. You'll see Cosmic View with a lot more raw options as you're seeing. You're going to see him throw out some of the bigger, heavier moves. Looking to catch Rob doing anything because, I mean, to be honest with you, Rob is also a really big body too. So really susceptible for moves with those hitboxes, which Bowser does have. And he's throwing out. Uh, if he keeps spamming those back airs, those fares, then one of them might hit. Same goes both ways though. So now we are dead even, both just a little bit above 100. Bowser up tilt, probably not going to do it yet, but you're going to see Cosmic shooting for it anyways. Fair. Yep, trying to run off fair, and a really good sort of drift away coming out from Nathaniel. Not going to fall for that. Probably saw that coming, and there he is. Going to catch the roll on the platform. The oldest trick in the book. And I say trick, it's not really a trick. Just a really smart read to take, especially when you have that up smash that Rob has. You throw that out there, man, because uh, you're not really going to get hurt after throwing it out there, and you could only really take the stock. So well played by Nathaniel. Cosmic B going to have to pull himself together for game two. Uh, really, that game could have went either way, so I won't be surprised if they do stay PS2. Yeah, Bowser with the big cream. Uh, it's oh, it's never surprising when you see it. Bowser is, uh, he, he kind of just be like that, man. Sometimes he just catches you doing something, whether you're mashing or you're, you're covering in a certain way. He's got those ways to, to, to kind of cover you. But, yeah, it is going to be Nathaniel coming out in this first game. 
And I'm guessing we're getting a stage swap. They both did exit the arena. That's usually a pretty good indication. So here we go, game two, a bit of a bit of a long game one. For, for the characters we have on screen, that game one actually went pretty long. Yeah, I mean, both, both playing pretty aggressively. And I, I don't really see either one giving him a lot of space. I mean, obviously Rob will benefit from the space a lot more. Oh my god, that was close. And Kaz and V will. But regardless, doesn't really look like he's that interested in giving Cosmic V a whole lot of room to think of is something that is going to <gasps> really close again. Uh, Nathaniel is really looking for that for that down air on the ledge, and honestly, he might catch it. I would imagine catching Bowser with that probably isn't super difficult. You know, uh, okay, throwing the gyro down. Rob's got a whole lot of drift, though, with his uh, rockets, and there we go. Up smash taking another stock. That is back-to-back -back up smash stocks in this set. And there we go, there's another back air kill. Um, this time coming out from the big man. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, I turned my head away to do things, and it looks like things are kind of right where I left them. Looking pretty even, and oh, almost evening things up some more. Bowser is big man, uh, and Nathan did not, or Nathaniel, excuse me, did not really have the necessary rage to take advantage of that read, so we'll see what Cosmic B could do with this, because right now he is building up what they do I like to call extra credit. And getting some more. Does have Nathaniel now officially. Uh, halfway to death, uh, even more so now. And trying to use the big boy buttons are going to get busted up by Rob's multi-hitting moves. No surprises there, but Cosmic B does have Nathaniel uh, very much on the ropes, so is looking pretty favorable for a game three. And honestly, a really good set for these early rounds, so shoutouts to that. You never really know what you're going to get early rounds. Um, sometimes the sets are really good. I'm sorry, sometimes the sets are just really bad. Because uh, early rounds uh, and seeding and stuff, but this one has actually looked pretty pretty good. So both these guys really looking to keep things rolling. And I did mention today, bracket is sitting over a little bit of over a hundred people. So uh, you are gonna have to fight through quite a bit to reach the top. And that is gonna be Cosmic B uh, getting his game three though, getting his retribution. That game one looking kind of close. Uh, not winning game two though does bring it back and with a whole stock lead so Nathaniel now is going to have to sort of uh, get himself together here and figure out where to go. We'll see if there's a counter pick for stage. I won't be, su be uh, excuse me, I won't be surprised if there is, but we'll have to wait and see. Also, would like to thank all of you guys for uh, sitting here chilling. I know it's just me sort of shout casting at the moment. That will change very soon. Stu is actually going to be coming on in about a half hour. So we'll have that to look forward to. Koopa will be on at 9.30. Uh, unless he also wants to come on earlier, I will give him the option. But in the meantime, that is what you guys are going to get. Uh, and I, don't know, I think it's a pretty good lineup, man. We're chilling. So here we go. Uh, clearing out all the platforms, having the final destination. We'll see how this does for either one of them. I actually think this is probably... Honestly, I don't know, man. This is just... Anytime I see Final Destination, I literally just think of, like, uh, quick play from... from or what was... Not, oh, God, dude. So it looks like Cosmic B has mostly just sort of figured this out. Um, he literally has an entire stock on Nathaniel. Nathaniel, though, is collecting... Or putting on the damage, rather. And the Cosmic B, so he's making the most of it. It does look like, uh, honestly, he's really making the most of it. Only taking on 18 and has Cosmic in a really bad position. 
off stage. Could probably hit him with that gyro. Optic for the high recovery, but fumbling on the landing. That was so prime that probably should have been the stock. And now, hopefully, we don't see a big struggle for Nathaniel to take this because sometimes when you when you fumble a little bit like that, uh, it could be really difficult to find your footing back before you get lapped. Uh, we are starting to see Nathaniel now over the sentry mark on the second stock. Okay, uh, nearly getting clipped by that by that fire breath, but. Is still going to make it back there. It's absolutely making an appearance once again. Suddenly, this is really looking like Cosmic B's game uh, almost decisively. You don't really want to say that yet, especially when you do have a Rob on the screen, but until Nathaniel's able to take this first stock, it's really hard to feel good about the position he's in. Can't quite time up that down air on the ledge, but we'll get that back air once again. That is another kill for back air this set. I've seen a few of them, and both these guys have really hard hitting back airs, so I'm sure we're going to see it. Probably going to see at least one more. I won't be surprised. Cosmic, and I mean, if Nathaniel's able to take out the second stock, and there it is, there it is, it's gone. Uh, it's really not hopeless. He does have an uphill climb, and it's really scary playing against Bowser when you're sitting at 110, even if you are a big body, but at the very least, uh, he's still fighting. Cosmic B's really one big hit away. Again, I won't be surprised to see this end in a back air. Uh, we've seen back air quite a bit. We haven't really seen any gyro traps like we did on the very first stock of the set, so I think if Nathaniel could find one of those, if he, if he gets... Oh, here we go. This, okay, finally hits it. Wow. Really close stuff there. Uh, Nathaniel fighting back from the depths, looking like the game was all but over. He's down two stocks. Comes back to just narrowly take a game over Cosmic B, who was actually playing pretty well, so um, really well played. Really good set. Uh, really, really good set. As I mentioned, you don't always get those in these like round twos of pools. Like you don't always see that, but that was that was a good one. So shouts to those guys.